nice is it's a wireframe you could rotate into and pan around. So, wireframe graphics are how animators start. Now look at that, it's a 2D, but no, it's going in 3D too. Yeah, it's uh, flattening and growing. So you can see the wireframes, the different curves. And uh, so there's a mathematical structure here. But look, it's flattening. Yeah, flattening, inverting. Have you ever seen a jellyfish invert? Hmm. Nice. Change color. They could do that. skew. Clean the turtle. <laughs> Clean the turtle track. Okay. Render next frame. So this is frame animation. Zoom out, rotate, okay, so you could give this to your virtual partner for Valentine's Day. Hey honey, here's a flower garden for you. Oh, so pretty, I, oh, I love it. Yeah, it's cheap too. <laughs> Yeah, don't ever get supermarket flowers. <laughs> Spheroid flower. Iconosphere iterations. Iconosphere. Nice cheap flowers. Okay. Okay. Spiral, spiral, rays. Two spiral, two shell, shell two. And spiral, spiral, rays, number of sides to spinner. Let's see, what should we run here? Circle ball. Let's just do spiral. Does it have forward references? Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Come in. Okay, I wanted to just go to Ed. Shell. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I, I've been zoomed in too far. I'm trying to zoom out. In the old computers, we never had this much control over graphics this fast. This is um, where you need your power of your modern machines. But look at that. I'm just panning. OK, so we're tricking you. We're drawing in 3D, but we're making it look like 2D. Isn't that cool? Spiral or crash? Game. Oh my. Help. J, K, I. Oh my. This is like moon. Yeah, lunar lander. Lunar lander right there. Come on. Ha <laughs> ha. How about going off world? There we go. <laughs> And then float in space on your turtle umbrella. <laughs> All right, fix that bug. That's a left to the student to fix that bug. <laughs> it's 
snappy direction, splash landing. IJKL, those are your keys. Spruce forest. Help me, Mr. Red. Tree, forest, orbit. To orbit, okay. No. To orbit. To forest. To tree. Let's try forest. Three forest, forest with three trees. I love it. Okay. So trees have holes in the earth. Nice. <laughs> and the world is flat, by the way, in case anyone was wondering. <laughs> <laughs> according to this world. So create your own worlds. That's the break breakout sounds recreated. Okay, so see these 3D Melody and April always do this where you, they make the board move as you're playing the game, so it just makes it much harder. Oh my. Zero to four. <laughs> Okay, so learn how to do this. You're making five lives. <laughs> and no audio wait, no paging, new workers. So you have a scorekeeper worker. Isn't that nice. And you have ball, 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 timer, timer, ball heading, play ball. All right, so you're checking your... Um, X and Y positions, absolute remainder, heading. So kids, learn your math so you'll make you'll know how to do all this. Toot, 1,000 minus rep count. All right. Paddle, voxeloid, it's like arcanoid, a voxeloid. Okay, scorekeeper to start. So you see, you create a new turtle and then you teach it uh -huh, how to display your scores. Typeset, SE, lives and score. So text on graphics made easy. Like that. Nice old fashioned fonts. The low res is so cool. All right. Let's see what else. Cat. Meow. That was squash. I am a little teapot. Okay. A tea. A little teapots and a cup. Okay. So this is also from Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> be our guest. Be our guest. Oh, we're having turtle soup tonight, huh? <laughs> Alice in Wonderland reference to the mock turtle. <laughs> Why do I keep quitting? <laughs> Tetrahedroid suns. Sun and dial. 
Ah, it's the red giant sun. Ate us all. <laughs> cool animation, huh? Oh no, this is what it's going to be like living inside the sun when it becomes a red giant. Hope you kids can figure out how to get into space by then. A few billion years to go. All right, sundial. All right, yes. This runs forever until the heat death of the universe. Look that up. Okay, begin the sun, random. And nice colors. Dial first. Layer. Call the dial plan with three values. Color, size, and tilt. Dynamic kaleidoscopes. Turtles will live forever. They'll run the universe forever. Even if we... <laughs> even after all the stars die. It's another theory out there. The turtles will still be around running the universe. Or maybe they'll move to a different universe. Maybe they should take us with them. All right. <laughs> Turtle art. So that was Tetrahedroid Sun. Let's have fun with Tori. What's the plural of Taurus? A Tori. What's the plural of Hippopotamus? Hippopotami. One hippopotami cannot get on a bus because one hippopotami is two hippopotamus. That's from Alan Sherman. Okay, Ed. Bracelet, bullseye, spire, rainbow spire. Okay, let's see. a rainbow spiral. I like it because it's a easily made 3D object. And I'm trying to zoom out more. Tilt pan. Yep, you see the rings, the Lord of the Rings. And it could go on forever. That's Zeno's paradox. You, half of that, half of that, half of that. You'll never get anywhere. Bracelet. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Now this would be something to 3D print and have kids put together and wear it. And bullseye spire. Okay, this is how bulls see. Mm-hmm. And spire. Okay, so here are the bullseye spirals. And then the rainbow spire makes that. So let's look at spire. So the difference between bullseye is one torus, spire is 20 tori. So torus with uh, these different parameters, low, five times rep count. I don't know what low is. So bracelet was tori with different, you know, just experimenting with the different tori parameters. Hmm. Three plus random 20. Just want to see those shapes again. So tori with different number of sides. Okay, so here's a hexagon torus, a square torus. Interesting. So, you know, torus with many sides is close to a circle, but you could zoom in and count those sides and see how many sides it really has, how many segments are in that circle. 
Nice. So let's see, Taurus 530 size size. So let's play with that. Shift uh, Q. All right, where am I? Uh, reset. Okay, so I just made a 10 sided torus. One, two, three, four, five. All right, now which parameter? See, this is how you learn by experimenting. Five ten to ten sided torus length five five thirty. Let's try fifteen ten. All right, so I guess that's the number of internal segments. Let's see. Taurus five thirty uh, one ten. Oh. <laughs> Let's try three. Okay, uh, I dropped my token ring. <laughs> All right. See, I I just want to quit so fast. Fed me. Okie dokie. Let's finish this up. That was Taurus. Turtle art. Pretty. So this could be like Native American art or South American art. And if they had the time, they could get all their turtles to do this. It's beautiful. Grid art, grid art deco. Spiral art. Let's see if that's any different. Spiral art. Okay, so there is plenty to explore in each one of these demos. Turtle clock. Okay, this will be fun. Now a clock is quite difficult to program if you think about it, the way you have to calculate the angles for the, uh, each hand to be proper. And uh, let's see, clock. Okay, so it's 4.10 p.m. where I am and it's using the seconds and rotating the clock into nothingness. To, and is this the back of the clock? No. Okay, so they did have logic to adjust the uh, when it rotates around to make sure that um, your clock is still clockwise. <laughs> oh, look at this. Hey, Myrtle. What time is it, Myrtle? Time to eat? It's always time to eat. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so Myrtle knows her angles, so she can get those seconds right. Now, to make it a sweep second hand, that would be a challenge. So you have 60 frames per second, so you'd have to um, rotate it, uh, create frames for every... 60th of a degree, or whatever it is, yeah. Hour hand, minute hand, and second hand. 
hours times 30 plus minutes over 2. See, this is good documentation to help other people who maintain your code to understand what you were doing. So in turn, write the number of minutes times 6. 60 minutes is times 6 is 360 degrees, number of degrees in the circle. More documentation is good. Rock around the clock. Oh, OK. Thank you. 